Okay, so the next part is uh, everybody's favourite gasketing, including mine. It's not really my favourite, to be honest. Uh, so we're going to use uh, sash number two. Uh, you can see I've already fitted the extension on with the, the, the bottom flap seal on there. Uh, the reason we're going to use this is because it just incorporates everything on. So we've got the normal hinge side on this side, and then on the opposite side we've got the guide roller uh, side section on here. So basically on this one sash we're going to do all the gasketing we'll need to do over the, the sashes, if you know what I mean. Uh, so all the sash details and the sash gasketing details are on uh, the fabrication manual, and that's on page 06. Uh, 0.38. So everything you need in, in that little bit section tells you the notches and the size and stuff. We're just going to briefly run through the bits on here uh, and see how many times I can stick my fingers together with the uh, super glue. So if anyone wants to send an email in after, just to guess, there'll be a little bit of a prize after. First bit to do is this little bit here. This is what the bit. So this is the actual. Uh, hinge side to the frame uh, side that we're going to do first. So using the uh, the 132 mullion gasket, which is which is this gasket here, which we previously used on the outer frame, uh, we're just going to slot it into this section here. So as before, remember that there's a, a, a thick side to the profile and a thin side, and obviously there's a matching thick and thin side on your your gasket section. The other thing you just need to do is, as per the the fabrication manual, you just need to take out the back section. So you're notching out that section because this is what this little plastic block's for. So you just need to dab a little bit of glue on that bit. Uh, I'm just going to just use this gel glue because it seems to be, it doesn't run anywhere, it's set pretty quickly. Okay. Uh, so make sure you've got the right way around. That's just going to push right up to your hinge plate. And there, obviously I've cut this to length already. Make sure that's just on the side like so. Make sure you stick it so it's level with the profile because sometimes you can you can stick it like that and it'll show your profile. Make sure that it doesn't you don't see any of that, that gasketing profile then. So just let that, that sit on there. So that's that one. Using the same principle, now we've uh, fixed that one in and stuck it down to the, the sash extension. We're just going to fill these two parts in. Uh, with this being the internal face, we just need to finish this off flat so there's no extra notching out uh, required on this section. So again, just make sure you get the right side of the, the gasket to the right side of the profile. Just insert, make sure it's nicely in there. Uh, same at the top, just in there. Make sure it finishes flush with the top profile section. Uh, and that's the that's the internal face gasketing done on this side. What we'll do is we'll switch it round. Uh, I'll just notch out this section and we'll run through that in a second. The next process we have is mitering this little corner here. Uh, so what I normally do is I'm going to take my gasket shears. You just, all you're going to do is you're going to take this fin off. You can just see the fin down at the end down there. And take all that way to the actual shoulder of this gasket. Snip that off. And then have a little, it's like a little crafter scalpel knife. Take that down to there. Take that section all the way across, like so. Uh, and then using your mullion seal again, uh, just take out the back edge you do with a little, the little craft knife that I have. Uh, they're actually really good, especially if you're uh, into filleting fish. <laughs> uh, so we're just going to pop that, so that, you that pop that's into there. That sticks, just push fits in all the way up to the top. Make sure it's level at the top again, like you did at the bottom. And what in the interim, we're just going to glue that section. So we're just going to glue this little bit here, like so. And I'm also just going to glue this leading edge, just this little bit here, because we just want these two sections to bond together. So we're just going to stick that to the section first, and then stick that section just there. And just leave that to dry for a second. And then once that's dried, you're just going to snip it straight to form that little section.
top seal next. Um, so this is your, your top seal section. Fits in just to push fit in there. So again, just what I normally is I'm just a little paring knife. Just, just sort of slowly. Fill it into that section. And then just turn it out. So the reason we're back taking that out is obviously it's got to sit within this section here. So you're just taking a little bit out so when it sits in there it's nice and flat. Okay. Uh, feed it in all the way, push it in all the way across. Yeah. Also what we're going to do is we're just going to join these corners with a bit of super glue. repeat the process on the other side. Top guide section. Uh, so I've attached, temporarily attached the, the top guide wheel. Uh, you can see this in the top seal. This one's a little bit more complex because you're not actually filling this gap here. You're filling, filling this little tiny gap in, in here. So again, I've already taken the back out of this. I've notched that out. I've cut myself a little tiny piece of, of mullion gasket. So I always find it just easy just to glue this first. Leave that there a second. Get the piece of gasket I've popped in. Pop that right to the edge. Close my, my wheel section. And then just slightly crump press it together. And just unfortunately you just gotta wait here a little bit and wait till it sets. So once that's dried, uh, that's all set and done. You'd normally this bit isn't actually in the, the fabrication manual, so that would how it would normally be, but left open in this section. But what I like to do is I, I like to use a little bit of the cover gasket. Uh, so just let's snip a little piece in there that fits. So just Basically just a bit more aesthetic for your customer really, so it just sits in there and looks as though it's a finished product. It doesn't affect the closing of the, the guide or the wheel or anything, it just uh, just looks better. So I'll move on to the next bit. So similar as your top guide, I've attached the, the bottom wheel section, uh, so we're just going to form a little bit of a the mullion seal for in here. Obviously the, the bottom gasket flap seal still on. Uh, so just dab a bit in there, put a bit on here, okay. and I've already cut the section just to pop in there, like so, make sure it sticks, and likewise that the, the bottom gasket steel sticks to that, uh, just let that set, and then we'll do the the intermediate piece of gasket between the two hinges. The last bit I fill in now is this middle section. So again, just cut a piece to this length, you know, making sure you pop it in the right way. So I'll just pop that in there. Yep. And similarly before, like I've done at the ends of each of these. We're just going to fill these two little sections in with uh, a little bit of the cover gasket. So that just pops in there. The top section just in there. And the last little bit of all to do is just obviously this internal face mullion gasket. So again, just cut it to length. Make sure you notch out the bottom section for this. And I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on it. Previous, have a little bit of that on there, like so. Again, making sure you've got it the right way and that it's nice and flat and flush at the end. So we'll just pop it in, run it all the way up to the top so it's flat. There she is. Okay. Well, then they got my finger stuck. Slide it down until it's level. Hold it there so you get a nice finish on that. 
Okay, so that's the last bit of gasketing done on that sash, uh, and then it's just repeating the process on the other, the other two sashes, or however many sashes you've got, just using the little bit of techniques and notches, uh, and using your manual. That's it. So the next bit, we'll put the actual sashes together in the frame.